That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. 
I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. What is this place? Revelio. Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And... Might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss, but first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm, that is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. To think it was beneath us all this time.
This looks promising. map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade, 
My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you had accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins?
goblins. The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood, do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps, but we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies, yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. I am curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you.
You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep this second artifact safe, as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing stand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of... well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it.
Revelia. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bakar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted, in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Huh. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. What is it? Let's find out. I cannot bring my brother back, Father. But I can give you peace. Have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora! I 
took his pain. Thank you. That worked. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felcroft, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care, if at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. Perhaps Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Revelio.
Hello? Is it Ora? Is it Ora? Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. Percival. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Turn to your common room, all right? What have you done? Your breath. Students, Isadora. Everyone feels pain. And why? Because of your arrogance? Your obsession with secrets? He won't suffer any longer. Not my father. Not my students. No one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> Caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. 
Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon.